In Tullahoma, Tennessee, there is the coolest place that kids of all ages can go and have an educational blast. It's the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center was established in 1995 as a place to encourage local children's excitement, understanding, and overall interest in science and mathematics. Since then, they have more than doubled in size and continue to grow to this day thanks to the generous contributions of local citizens and businesses. Schools and organizations schedule bus trips to the Hands-On Science Center quite frequently. Let's join one of those trips in progress right now. She'll stay still in a minute. Okay, now I am more afraid of dropping her. She, no, she doesn't jump. I am more afraid of dropping her than I am of her biting me. Now she is poisonous, but mildly poisonous, which means it would be like a bee sting or a wasp sting. Um, and of course some people are going to be allergic. She's never bitten me. She will raise up and make herself look bigger, and that's her defense mechanism. The second thing she does is she will shoot out her little hairs. But she uses that as a defense mechanism because if she shoots those out and they get in a predator's eyes, they can blind it. His eyes are on the sides of his head. He doesn't look straight ahead like we do. And the holes in the side of his head, what do you think those are? Ears. Very good. You'd be surprised at the number of people that don't understand that those are ears. Look at their tiny little feet. They look like little hands, don't they? Their tails, they store their food in their tails. You can tell these guys are healthy. Oh, I like to wear the geckos. You're so good at what you do. <laughs> when they tighten up in a little tiny ball, that's when they're most spiky. Why would a predator not want to take a bite? He'll get, get poked! He'll get poked in the mouth! They'll get poked in the mouth. I'm going to take him home. <laughs> They're nocturnal, and if you let them, they will sleep all the time. Sonic here is just a wiggle worm. He's not at all afraid to be handled. He's prickly. You're a smart kid, you know what? You want to come up here and teach this class? <laughs> I think you do a good job. I really do. You are smart. When it comes to nature, there is a wide spectrum of areas that the Science Center covers. If you have a fascination about rocks, you will be in rock heaven. Rocks and rock collections can also be purchased in the gift center. There is also a huge assortment of great learning toys, kits, projects, and clever gift ideas. Critters, they look real because they were. Stuffed animals live on to the oohs and ahs of those visiting. Not only are there skeletons, but detailed charts listing the bones. Is this a small dinosaur? Nope. It's actually one of Smokey the Bear's relatives. You never know what you may find at the Hands-On Science Center. The shadow wall room will amaze you along with many cool contraptions, too many to mention here. Adults are astonished and excited by all the learning stations over a huge area of the Science Center, as are all the children. The Hands-On Science Center is open Tuesday through Saturday 10 to 5 and on Sundays 1 to 5. The Hands-On Science Center does birthday parties. Kids and adults gain entrance for only five dollars. Children under two are free. Come have a wonderful time with your children or the child and you at the Hands-On Science Center in Tullahoma, Tennessee.